Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to look at the CFS, the pivotal CFS upper air. Look at the broader picture. Okay. This is valid today um, at zero Z. Here's our current storm that's going through. Here's the Halloween period storm. Pretty decent. Um, about the same, same um, surface pressure, nine, about 990. Um, still gonna, in just being so close to this uh, current one, it's gonna exacerbate any coastal um, flooding and um, with the wind and, and the heavy rain from this current storm, anything additional from the Halloween storm um, where rain and, and wind's concerned, that could definitely pose a problem for um, down trees and, and power outages. So here comes the beginning of November. So where, let me adjust this. So piece of uh, energy here, trough kind of being undercut here um, from the Northwest into the Northwestern US. Um, a piece gets spit down um, into Oklahoma, Texas, uh, into Arkansas, comes out of Arkansas. This is the storm um, that I had mentioned. Um, we, it, 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 it's, it's not perfect looking, but I don't use this for uh, forecasting purposes. I'm just using it for trend purposes. Um, progress, progress it through here. It's a broad area, negative, low pressure across the entire country. Some semblance of a ridge here that's um, starting. You can see when you see these um, areas of lower negative anomalies that have these, it's buckling to the north. That tells me that there's a ridge um, going to be building in, in here. Here we go. There's a sixth, seventh. And it's out. Okay, we're getting close to Thanksgiving here. And this is the end of the run on the 27th of November. Um, I think that's pretty significant. Just looking at the... a little closer here looking at the 850s the minus 2c is all the way down into southern Virginia um, southern Kentucky um, this is some brutal brutal cold air and, and the CFS has been doing really well uh, the pivotal CFS has been doing really well in regards to the trend um, and picking up um, storm signals and uh, synoptic change signals that that's one of the reasons why I like to use it um, okay let's go to my main area of focus here so we had a really big run of positive daily values that pushed our our 30 and 90 day averages like 
way up. The one thing you look for with big storm signal, I mean, for, for storm signal um, indicators is you go from um, positive 12, then, then 625, and then you have uh, negative 22.18 uh, drop and a negative 21.08 drop the next day, the 23rd and 24th of October. So this this is pretty decent. I mean, it, it just solidifies this um, view look at the period the 23rd 24th and 25th you go out two weeks that's that November I mean you, you do a little have a little bit of a leeway on either side so two weeks plus or minus um, three days on either side so that puts us in that November 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th time frame for um, what looks to be a, a significant storm. Um, this is the um, Australian um, Bureau of Meteorology. Um, this is their Access S2. It's a 33 member ensemble. Um, this one, I got to admit, is kind of, um, difficult to pick out here, um, in, in regards to plot progression. So this is the end of the run right here. And the 13th, uh, up here, here's our, um, November 3rd period. So that, so we're in phase eight here, which is... which is good. Um, it's a good phase for, for storminess. And here, here's the, um, October, here's the Halloween period storm and where we're pretty much right about in here right now. So the, uh, Australian um, Bureau of Meteorology, the, their plots are really, really good. Um, and a lot of people rely on them more than other, um, more than any other MJO plot. This is Kyle McRitchie, Kyle McRitchie's uh, CFS um, ensemble plot. He has a really good, really good site um, for being, for, to be used for trends. Um, here's where we currently are in phase eight. So that lines up perfectly. Here's our Halloween storm. Sorry, if I got blurry. Here's where we currently are. Here's our Halloween storm. Here's um, that November 5th period. So this is a, a tricky time here because looking here at the... Um, MJO um, progressions at temperature composites and the significance um, percentage for October, November, December. Phase phase eight, uh, phase seven's cool, um, not overly warm. Phase eight is cold. Phase two is cold. Phase one is a transition, is in transition because when you go to the November, December, Jan November, December, January look, phase seven, eight, and one um, are the cold phases. So we're getting towards the latter half of October into November. So, I mean, the, this is a... Um, Phase two and phase one are kind of the potentials there. Um, 
I don't, I, I gotta admit, I don't know exactly what, um, what drives that. If it's the latter half of October that you see phase one, um, starting to transition to this November, December, January look or what, but I think there's, st it's still in play, um, in regards to, um, to the correlation, um, in, with the, with the storminess. So here's another plot that I like to use the, um, North Carolina Institute for Climate Studies. Pretty much that's a little progression is a little quicker. Um, I honestly like the CFS, Kyle McRitchie CFS plot, um, in regards to progression and where we are currently, um, this comes around two and three and gets into four and then then runs into an all phase. Um, I think we'll see this get back over into seven, eight, and one. And here's a um, this is the the combined run. The this run here is the same as this. So but these are drivers. This is outgoing long wave radiation. Um, so we're, we're on the phase, uh, the Western hemisphere and Africa side, the, the phase eight and one at look here, the eight, 850, um, MJO plot, um, that's up at 850 millibars. That's where, where we typically look for the for the cold air, you want um, cold 850, cold enough 850 temps to be able to have a chance at snow, and and uh, colder weather at the surface. So we're in phase eight there, so that's good. Um, this is the jet level, so we're currently uh, uh, where the plot's concerned. Um, the MJO is in in a phase one, um, has a phase one look. So that's where we get the, um, this is kind of, this is the mean of all these runs here. All right, I wanna go to, and go to the GFS and go back to this big run that we had. So the period in question here we have there's the Halloween storm, Halloween period storm on the 6E from yesterday. You just cycle this through. And we get this ridge to pop in the western U.S. And it just... I mean, it's not a perfect synoptic setup, but with how this translates to the surface, you want to, it definitely gets your, it definitely gets your attention because this is a rain to major interior um mid-atlantic uh upper mid-atlantic and northeast snowstorm uh like i said i saw this when i was at work um yesterday morning and i didn't have time to look at the the synoptics um what was driving this so i got home and i 
took a look at the vorticity and I'm bringing it a little closer and here we have Halloween storm coming through and here's here's this um, the, the fourth fifth sixth time period storm that the 60 yesterday was showing you get a, a trough rotating through and a piece drops in and you got uh, southern stream energy that's that's working up um, out of the Gulf of Mexico up the east up the eastern seaboard and you absolutely you absolutely bomb out a system here let's see what where it, well, it's actually not in, incredibly low surface pressure but I think um, because of what we have going on with these positives to the north of this system into the east, into the east northeast um, it's it's almost going to get trapped and it's going to take its time to get out um, we've been looking at this period for some time um, the guidance is flip-flopped um, in regards to the GFS on, uh, operational. I will say that, um, let me look at the this morning's run. Yesterday's 12Z and 18Z runs lost the storm. Um, I will say that the um, ensemble guidance uh, still has the storm and even even if the storm is is being lost the signal is still there um, because of this I can't discount um, that 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 is about as big of a stamp of uh, approval or stamp of guarantee that there is going to be a major East Coast storm in that November 4th, 5th, 6th time frame. Um, this is this morning's GFS. Here's our current storm. It's going off. Here comes the Halloween storm. Um, not as deep as, I, um, as I'm thinking it's going to be. To be similar, maybe slightly weaker than what we currently have. Here's November 3rd, and it's like it's di everything's disconnected there. So you have you have this piece of energy here coming down, and it does not. It does not fully connect up and phase. It does not fully drop in. Um, I don't think that's going <laughs> to... I don't think this is the solution. It's all strung out here. I don't... Be, because of that SOI drop, I... There's definitely going to be an, uh, a big, a much bigger East Coast uh, storm in that 4th, 5th, 6th time frame. Uh, look at, um, let's take a look at the, the G, the European here. It's not 60 run hasn't started yet. So we get out to that fourth, fifth time frame. The troughs dropping in. You have southern stream energy that's there, um, but it's not the 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 ridge doesn't look terrible. But I think you get this to get out ahead on in the European view. You get this to get out ahead, and this will rotate around and drop in. So that's a fairly good look. Um, we'll look at the Canadian. 
Look the vorticity. See what what's going on here. Halloween storm stays flat. Um, yeah, that's that. That'll work out. Um, I think that I think these pieces are going to be quicker. Um, I think you're going to see more more trough in the east, more ridge in the west here. I'm not just saying that to say it. Um, that, that because that's what I want. I'm saying that because, like you said, in regards to that SOI drop, um, the twenty the twenty third and twenty fourth here, and and the twenty fifth. You, you can't, <laughs> that is stamping that time frame, that fourth, fifth, and sixth time frame for something big. I'm going to look at the ensemble guidance, the mean guidance, uh, which is critical in my opinion. Of course, a nice control run looks good, but this is that November 4th time frame and you have that's a textbook um, I'm not completely textbook set up because you don't you don't have uh, the Greenland blocking but you have that this this serves um, the same purpose as Greenland block because if you have a green block Greenland block and we want a 50 50 low up here, and there's even there's even some semblance of a trough up here, a negative area low pressure. It's further east than what a typical 50-50 low would normally be back here. And we'd want this um, positive back into Greenland. But with this here, when we got a ridge like this, we get a we get a trough digging like that, it the storm's gotta come up. And when it comes up, it's not it's gonna it's gonna take its time, it's gonna do these loops like we're seeing with this current storm, what that's gonna do. Or it's just going to crawl. Um, so there's there's our current there's our Halloween storm, and this is that, that's really nice here. Vorticity's digging in. Um, Good look. Um, see what the mean, the GFS mean showing. Here's the well, that's six E's running, so it might make it out to a, not quite far enough. So we'll look at the zero Z, and it's a little wonky. Um, you have the trough here on the third, um, a little, a stronger positive up here, um, east of Greenland. The vorticity. So the GFS, I think is, even though it was the first model to have it, I think it's, um, it needs to sort itself out. And the fact that the European is showing it. And here's the Canadian. And this is, I, I like the Canadian for these kinds of storms. Um, just based off the, the performance that I've seen with um, these uh Type, this type of winter storm setup or potential. And even though it's not a, uh, a perfect ridge, you still have that positive east of Greenland that, that serves a block. The, the positive is coming down. You got a ridge building here off um, out in the um, central Atlantic. Something gets going here it's going to get trapped um look at the 
I'm going to look at the European control here if I can get it to load. Okay, why aren't we loading? There we go. All right, so the zero is a European control on European ensemble control. Halloween storm. Um, here's that fourth, fifth, sixth period. It's kind of, kind of, it's flatter. And I that I like the the mean look better. Um, and I, that's what I want to see. The better better look on is the mean. Look, I'll take a look at the GFS extended and and see what it has. Look at the same thing. Little, I mean, some difference here. See what the control shows. It's November third. So there's our Halloween storm. Here we come in. There's the sixth. So that that looks pretty. I mean, we have a we have a storm there. So the GFS extended control is hinting at that a little bit. It's not perfect. I think the energy is too far east. It's going to drop in more towards the central. Yes, I think that ridge is going to be back. I think the, the storm signal is there for that fourth, fifth, sixth time frame. So, um, so long video half an hour long just a lot to explain a lot going on um again this uh november 4th 5th 6th time frame once we get through once we get these um next couple um storms out of the way um and we can get i'm gonna go back to that gfs run it had the storm I'll go to, you know, go to this. So, wait a minute, I didn't go back far enough. There we go. So here's our, This is November 5th. Here's our storm. It's, um, let me go to the U.S. view. Here's our storm. It's um, over the Delmarva. And tracks up to Cape Cod. So let's watch that energy. So there's, there's actually some snow out ahead on the 3rd. For like the Shenandoah Valley, maybe in the Laurels. You go back and go to the vorticity. So there's our storm. I mean, watch this a piece of energy. We track it back. It comes up out of, um, it's, it's coming out of the source region, so it tells me there's going to be plenty, plenty of cold air, at least on this run. You get that piece of energy, it likes it, it comes in, in, uh, in British Columbia, comes up into Canada, and then it starts dropping in. It's just a lot. There's a lot going on there. Drops in.
So that's where we are. One more look at the current run for that period. Halloween storm. Here you have this energy. I mean, it's not as consolidated. Southern Stream is, is more strung out. I mean, it, Southern Stream is actually stronger in this run. But the Northern Stream piece is more strung out and flatter. And it's not dropping in. I, I do think that it's going to drop in. Because of that SOI drop that we had on the 23rd, 24th. That screams, along with the teleconnections, that screams um, major um, East Coast um, storm. Do I think it could be um, some wintry precip there? Do I think it's going to be these god-awful amounts at yesterday's 60 run showed? I don't think so. It would be cool to see that. Um, but back into the interior, like from I-81 west um, in the mountains of West Virginia, up through PA, um, Shenandoah Valley, New York State, New England, interior New England, um, may, maybe even to Route 15, I could see some in, in Pennsylvania and Maryland. I could see some snow, some wintry, wintry precip. Um, it's still some sorting out to do, um, but all in all, I like the trend that I've seen um, uh, over the last, that I've been following for the last almost two months now um, into this period, watching storm signals running the long range into um, to the ensembles and and then into the operational models um, using that and in correlation with the SOI um, the daily SOI values the MJO the teleconnections um, the the trend has worked out really well um, and I think these storm tracks that we're seeing the net, with these next two storms, um, the current one and the Halloween period storm, and the, the system that's coming uh, for the 4th, 5th, and 6th time frame, um, I think is a harbinger of the storm tracks that we're going to see for this winter. So this is a long video, 33 minutes. Um, uh, if you have, I, I appreciate it if you if you do get through this entire video, but um, I'm going to leave it at that and just stay tuned. Um, and uh, we'll have more updates on the current situation with these storm, the current storms, as much as we can, um, and definitely this. Uh, I'll be watching this fourth, fifth, and sixth time frame for this early November um, storm signal that we have showing. Thank you for watching.